Hello, this is Dr. David Green, CEO of the Georgia Pain Network. Today's topic is the top 10 things you should know about stem cell procedures. Stem cell procedures for musculoskeletal conditions are now a reality. More and more athletes are turning to regenerative medicine procedures to get back onto the field. More and more grandparents, executives, weekend warriors, basically general public are starting to look to these treatments because they offer the potential to fix a problem rather than just mask it. This is Heinz Ward. He had a stem cell therapy, uh, kind of a stem cell therapy, platelet-rich plasma therapy. It helped him get back to uh, Super Bowl contention. Bartolo Colon had a stem cell therapy procedure which helped him get back into the major leagues and make the All-Stars again. Ten things to know. Uh, one is that modern stem cell procedures have no ethical issues. There's no fetal tissue used anymore in these procedures. Only adult stem cells or amniotic derived stem cells from consenting donors after a C-section, but none of them involve embryonic stem cells with fetal tissue. They are showing promise for all kinds of conditions. Degenerative and rheumatoid arthritis, SI joint and spinal joints, discs, Tendinitis, such as Achilles, rotator cuff, elbow, plantar fasciitis, ligament injuries, sports injuries, diabetic wounds, and stress fractures, just to name a few. Third thing, stem cells are almost like a blank slate. Okay, They start from an undifferentiated, undifferentiated state and convert into any number of necessary cells. A lot of it depends on what kind of an environment that they're placed into, but you get potentially skin cells, cartilage cells, tendon, ligament, or muscle. The fourth thing is that they can actually heal injury. Traditional treatments with cortisone act as a band-aid and are effective for pain relief, but they don't heal anything. The regenerative medicine stem cell treatments offer the potential to heal the damaged soft tissue and cartilage. This is truly cutting edge. It helps athletes get back on the field faster and avoid surgery. It can delay or avoid the need for a joint replacement. The fifth thing is that there are no embryonic stem cells used in these musculoskeletal treatments. The use of adult stem cells in research and therapy is less controversial than embryonic because their production does not require the destruction of an embryo, um, also because they know when to stop replicating. Amniotic fluid stem cells are somewhere between embryonic stem cells and adult stem cells. They have some potential to differentiate um, into different cell types, but they are not pluripotent, which is what embryonic stem cells are. There are four different types of regenerative medicine procedures involved. First is bone marrow derived stem cell procedures where bone marrow is taken from the iliac crest, processed immediately in the room, and then injected into the problem area. Fat derived is when your, your fat is taken and the stem cells are isolated from it. That can take a lot longer, about two hours for that procedure as opposed to 30 minutes with the other one. Amniotic derived, the fluid does not come from you. It comes from a woman after a scheduled C-section. That fluid is normally thrown away, but in these procedures, it's taken to an FDA-regulated lab and processed, and it has an amazing concentration of stem cells. PRP therapy, as mentioned, involves indirect stem cell therapy. After it gets injected, it actually pulls in and calls in stem cells from a person's body. So there are several amazing qualities in amniotic-derived stem cells. Um, they're processed at an FDA-regulated lab. They have a high concentration of stem cells and hyaluronic acid, along with growth factors and proteins, and have antimicrobial properties too. They've been used tens of thousands of times worldwide without adverse events to speak of. Small studies to date are showing excellent results for stem cell procedures for knee arthritis, elbow epicondylitis, degenerative disc disease, plantar fasciitis, ligament injuries, rotator cuff injury, Achilles tendonitis, and tears. We don't have large-scale studies right now. Stem cell procedures are not yet covered by insurance. I'm not talking about a stem cell replacement, like in your blood, but for musculoskeletal. Despite the exceptional results being reported, it usually takes insurance companies several years to start to cover new technologies like this, and the cost of the procedures is going to range. If surgery can be avoided, that can save considerable cost and disability. These are outpatient and exceptionally low-risk procedures. PRP therapy involves a simple blood draw, which is then spun down into um, the PRP. Fat and bone marrow derived is an autologous treatment. You do have to do the harvesting. Um, amniotic derived is immunologically privileged. It, it just doesn't cause a host versus graft reaction. Uh, there's minimal adverse event potential, so 
that's the huge upside with all of this. The top non-operative pain management in Georgia is through the Georgia Pain Network. There are several clinics throughout the state offering over 25 treatments and accepting over 50 insurances uh, with the board certified doctors. Call us today at 404-850-9099 and visit us online at georgiapainnetwork.com. I'm Dr. David Green with the Georgia Pain Network. Your pain stops here.